What's up, y'all? World Strong Review. It's your boy Ezekiel. How y'all doing? Ah, man. All right, all right. So let's get into this. The TV show that we are reviewing is a K drama, of course. It is Dr. Cha, C H A, Cha Chi Cha, Dr. Cha on uh, Netflix. It is trending on Netflix. This is the only reason why I decided to give it a shot. I looked at it before and I was like, oh, I'm not feeling it. Um, when it first came out, it is done now. Um, Netflix does for Korean drama. It does like weekly, like two episodes a week type of thing. And I've gotten so used to just been watching everything. It just, it's really annoying. Uh, and sometimes I lose interest when I'm waiting for a show. Um, if I have, when I'm waiting for a show, I lose interest. So here we go, Dr. Cha. So Dr. Cha, let's give you the premise. Let's give you the plot and let's give you the rating. So number one, the rating is eight out of 10. Honest, eight out of 10, All right? Eight out of 10, it kept me hooked. It kept me wanting more. Um, it was way more interesting and funny than I thought. It was going to be um, Dr. Chaw on Netflix. All right. Now, plot. The plot is how should I say this without? This is going to be a little bit of a spoiler talk. So my talk's a little bit spoilish. So it is basically a almost fifty-year-old housewife who was in medical school stop because you know one of her children got very got hurt or very sick and so she left school um right before her residency okay her husband continued he became a doctor years later she um ends up needing a liver transplant and a and her husband is a good donor and he questions it and then her mother-in-law who she stays with and does everything for said no okay Bear with me. And turns out that this husband who she's been with since college is sneaking around with his first, not first girlfriend, but his first girlfriend in medical school. Okay. They work together and they've been sneaking around. Okay. He's cheating on his wife with her. All right. And, but I'm not, she ends up getting a transplant for some place from, from a, uh, a, Murder, not a murder, not a murder, but from an accident, a patient who, you know, had just died in the hospital, she ended up getting it for that. So her husband never gave it to her. Okay, the liver. Then I'm, I'm scurrying around, bear with me. Um, and then she looks at life a little bit different. Like she's like, everybody cared about her being sick, but you know, once she got healthy, everybody went back into their own routine. Mommy, can you do this? wife can you do this daughter-in-law can you do this nobody really cares about her so she took her life in her own hands and all this the seed was planted or the inception the inception was in, of the idea of her going back to school um not school but going back for her residency and becoming a doctor was done by her surgeon who performed the the liver transplant for her okay he just so happened to ring meet her. Um, he kind of sees something in her. He tells her to go back. And there you go. So she goes back. And that's pretty much where the story episodes one and two takes off. Right? That's the plot. All right? And let's just go into my reaction to it. It is very good. All right? I was very surprised. Why was I surprised? Well, we all know the acting and everything is on par. I think what surprised me was just how funny it was. You know what I'm saying? Just how funny and comedic it was. It, it, there was no mystery. It wasn't too much of a mystery, anything like that. I think the husband and the wife were very good. The wife, who was a protagonist, oh, her name. Um, I'm going to try to pronounce her name as best I, I can. Um, um Jung Ha. And then her husband was played by Kim Won Chul. Mm. Okay. Um, they were very good. They were very good. They made the series. I'm not going to lie. They made the series. The, the, the story and the plot, everything revolved around them. Okay. There is a scene where she eventually does become a doctor and 
now his mistress who works with him in the same hospital you know they can't they had they can't you know hold hands they can't sit there and sneak around and do certain stuff because the wife he never told the wife that his first love works with works with him oh yeah oh yeah and he's in oh yeah it gets worse so he's in trouble and the scene where he sees them together he's thinking that oh the hospital's not going to accept her she's she's almost 50 she had a liver transplant like they, they they're not going to get somebody like that it's old and sick that's not going to happen somebody ended up going to the military because he got dumb and so she ended up getting in <laughs> and when he sees those two together boy he almost had a heart attack he had to go put himself on an IV that was so funny and that right there set the tone because up until that point I was like uh, uh, it's alright and I, and I think it's not the fact that she's a female protagonist like I said before in my last video female protagonists or starring or shows or or movies, stories or revolving around us, a female, if it's written good, I have no problem. I have no problem watching it. And this was written very well. You see the struggle of a housewife who's put her family first her whole entire life since she conceived these children. The son works in a hospital with them. So it's the mother, the son, and the father. Everybody in the hospital knows the father and son our father and son but she goes by her mating name they don't let nobody know that hey this is my husband and this is my son so they're pretending throughout all the way up until episode 11 nobody finds out the husband who's sitting here cheating is creeping around with his with his you know mistress and that is the plot that's the show right there it's just them you know there's little things that happen here and there the mother gets sick the other mother gets sick the mother gets scammed. The mother-in-law gets scammed. There's other little plots here and there. The son's love life. The daughter's going through. Oh, the daughter. Woo. You know what I'm saying? There's other plots, but everything revolves around the scandal and the cheat. All right? I'm not going to talk about any more of the actors because these are the two actors who made this show very good. Now I'm going to talk about some of the stuff that I like. All right? I don't know where I need to start. It was it was just so much I liked. I was like, oh snap, what? okay. So let's start off with the good one. He, the husband, Kim Wan, ends up, not only has he been cheating on his wife recently, he's been cheating, he has a love child with his first love. That's the same age as his youngest daughter. Mm-mm-mm. And this... <laughs> His mistress told her daughter, her own daughter, the mistress' daughter, what's going on? Daddy will come. Daddy has this other family. You know, be patient. I'm going to win him over. He's going to get a, a divorce. I'm sitting here like, oh my goodness. And the child, the mistress, his, his love child, let's call it the love child, is twisted. She says she's twisted in the show. So she sees her half-sister that's with the main family. Befriends the half-sister in the main family. Setting up the sister. I'm sorry, I'm getting loud. I get excited when I get loud. Sets up the sister and everything. And then plans. And this is how the secret breaks out. This is how everybody starts finding out that he's been cheating on his wife for almost... She's 18 now. She's a senior year in, in, in high school. She's a senior in high school. She's in 12th grade. Both daughters are in 12th grade. 13, 18 years. 18 years he's been creeping and having a secret family. Oh my goodness. Every work conference was a vacation with this other woman, his first love. Bro. <laughs> I was like, dang. So she invites the the love child finds out that the father is going to meet her for the second time, I believe. He's going to meet her for the second time. The first time was like in the street and he really don't act like He's her father and stuff like that. He's not as caring as he is about the other two children in his main family. So she sets it up where the stepsister from the main family shows up at the dinner and says, this is my daddy. We stepsisters. I was like, God, hey. So she was hoping her stepsister would tell the mama. Nobody wants to tell the mother. So the son ends up finding out right after the daughter, 
No, but the daughter didn't say nothing. The son finds out because he sees the mistress who work in the hospital with with them text the father to meet him at a secret location. Not secret, but it's a well enclosed location at the hospital. And he creeps and sees them hugging each other and stuff like that. Oh, snap. So he confronts his father and he's very disappointed. He's like, don't tell mother. So both children say, don't tell mother. Okay. The son tells his mother, of course. His mother's like, how can you do this? Are you crazy? Now, a little side piece information. The mother-in-law loves her daughter-in-law. The daughter-in-law, she's the main protagonist, spoils her rotten. When she starts going back to work to become a doctor, no maid wants to work with the daughter, with the mother-in-law because she's extra crazy, not crazy. Okay, she's just, she's a little bit too much. Okay, no babe wants to work with her. So the mother-in-law feels bad, not only because she denied the liver transplant, but she also knows her daughter-in-law does a whole lot for the family. Nobody knows what to do when she was sick. Nobody knows what to do when she's at working. They're like, okay, you got to do the dishes. Now, me, I was like, oh, uh-uh, I just came back from work. And you know, they work longer than 12 hour shifts. That 18 year old better go in there and clean them dishes. That's me. That's how I raise my kids. I know it's a little different over there, but nah, you've been home all day. But, you know, she do have academy, but I'm sorry. Academy and working, it's a little, to me, it's a little different. It's not the same. It ain't the same. Better go put them dishes in the dishwasher or clean them by hand. Nope, can't do it. Um, so there's a little tidbit over there with the, the mother-in-law. So she finds out. So everybody finds out. Ask me how. Tell me, how did the protagonist, the wife, find out about the daughter? So the wife, throughout this whole series, and it was driving me crazy, she was seeing bits and pieces of little things here and there. Her intuition, her woman intuition, they never said it, but they kind of hinted at it through the show that she was seeing some stuff, but she didn't want to, she wanted to deny it. She, she wanted to deny it. She wouldn't confront the husband and wouldn't say it out loud, even to herself. And I liked it. That's realistic. Okay. When you, 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 they've been together for what? How old is the oldest son? About 20, 20 some years old, 30, 30 years marriage. They've been together. She don't want to, she don't want to hear that. She devoted herself, left her career to be with this, this man. You know what I'm saying? So I get it. To raise this family and everything. I get it. And I felt for her. I felt for her, you know, throughout the whole thing. I was like, oh, man, she's going through it. So the daughters get in trouble at school. They end up fighting each other. They end up fighting each other. And the husband and the mistress got called to the hospital for the, uh, love child the other daughter came home and the wife was like okay y'all both get called out at the same time what's going on her her intuition knows something's up between the two all right they both had the same bracelet every time she she sort of kind of catches her husband in the lot i was like oh okay and she there breaking down now mind you she's still on um what's it called transplant what's it called immunodepressant um medication so she's dealing with all this stress of becoming a doctor. The husband doesn't want her to become a doctor. So he's being extra, extra, how should I say this, pathetic as a senior doctor. You know, they she has to follow him around to learn. He's a professor. You know, he's over there. He's already done his residency. And he's making her life a living hell because he doesn't want her to become a doctor. He don't want her to work. He don't want her to work. He don't give his liver. And he don't want her name to be on the the house, the owner, the ownership of the house. He's he's just he's being extra. So I'm like, dang, she's going through it, man. I feel for her. You're gonna feel for her. And then there's gonna be light moments here and there of comedy. She finds out that her son is dating um her one of their well, the son is kind of at the same level as her a little bit. I think he's like a year over her. So there's like a there's a, a, a senior resident that's in charge over over all of them and he's dating her. And the mother finds out <laughs> going into her dorm. Then the mother walks in on them having some type of sexual relationship. Oh my goodness, this is funny. It's funny. It is surprisingly funny. 
Um, and that's what caught me. I felt for her, and and it was very funny. You, you should definitely go check it out. So, Doctor Cha, I want to say Cha, on Netflix. I give it an eight out of ten. It is very good. Um, Korean Korean drama. Um, I really have nothing bad to say about it. I, you know, everything. You know how I say episode thirteen, fourteen. They like to throw a wrench in it. It was really, it was, it was really, really, it was really good written. So that that little twist that they throw in in all Korean dramas at the episode thirteen, fourteen was real. It was good. It made sense. It wasn't left field. It made perfect sense. It went with the story. It went very well. Um, even the little love interest that she has with her, the surgeon who performed the uh, surgery or the transplant surgery on her, it made sense. She never, she never, never showed anything throughout the whole series. It, 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 it was well, it was good written. It was, it was good. It was good. I don't, I don't think he really liked her like that. He respected her. I don't think he liked it like that. And he was looking for something. You know what I'm saying? He was looking for something. He saw it in her. And I think he was a little bit infatuated with her. And he was still, and he was looking for his own family and everything. That's why he liked her. That's my piece on it. If you have a different take on it, you know, comment below. Um, the ending, you know, the ending was, was well written. She didn't have to have a man. That's what I got from the ending. She didn't have to have a man. She was doing what she wanted to do. All right. Um, it, it went three years into the future and you got a little closing with every different character. But she also was doing what she wanted to do, which was practice medicine. You know, her and her husband, of course, they have kids. So and they've been together for 30 years. So they end up going their separate ways, but they still talk. You know what I'm saying? That's what grown people do. You know, yeah, as long as they don't hate each other, they still talk. They still mingle. They still having conversations. But that's it. They're done. You know, and she ends up going off doing her own thing, you know, taking trips by herself. The kids are grown. And and I thought that was very well written, you know, very well written show. And I guess the reason that I'm going to get this last two cents, a little bit of rant is um, over there in Korea. Not over here in Korea, over here in the United States. Y'all in Korea, they do things crazy over here. Y'all have a lot of female protagonists lead stories over there that are very well written because y'all don't take the time to tear men down yes the husband cheated yes the husband did that but you know that okay all right cool let's let's write this through all right yes he's a dirtbag yes he's a controller but who did he go talk to his mother he was right there with his mother how common is that with men it's pretty common i ain't gonna hold you it's pretty common you know and she did need a man at the end of the show. She went to go do what she wanted to do. Very well written. Y'all did not tear the character down of the husband. The husband was a community relief. The husband was growing himself. He saw his mistakes. He saw that he did wrong. You saw that he was he was spoiled. You saw that he was greedy. You saw that he was obnoxious. You saw that he was a jerk. He went through it. And at the end, even he grew at the end. That's how you write a female lead show. You don't have to tear the man down completely as if we don't exist to, to, to raise a woman up. That does not make any sense to me. How is that raising a woman up by tearing a man down? It doesn't make any sense. So that's my little rant on what they're doing over here in the United States like they're crazy. Um, I think, am I watching anything else? Yes, I'm watching... King, what's it called? King's The Land on Netflix. That got me a little bit. It's, it's getting me. I'm on episode three, so we're going to see. Um, that will be the next show. I want to do a BBC show for all my mystery people. So Father Brown, I've been watching Father Brown for a long time. Endeavor, I've been watching Endeavor for a while. Endeavor is on its final season, so I want to go ahead and finish that up and give an overview of this season series and do a review on that. Father Brown is consistent and they changed the characters on season, which is most recent season, I think 10 or 9. So I've been trying to catch up to see what's going on. Murder Arc Mysteries, I'm back watching that. They kind of pissed me off with the little love story that they were trying to play with. Um, so I stopped watching it like season 2 or 3 when the um, if you watch it, it's the uh, pathologist, pathologist, patholo pathologist, pathologist, pathologist that he was having a kind of a relationship with yeah, I got up to a point where she left. So, 
Uh, look at those. Those are coming out. And that's it. All right. World Strong Reviews. Uh, this video is a little bit longer than usual. Um, I had a lot to say about Dr. Cha. I really, really enjoyed that series. Um, please go check it out. I'm going to look for some more shows with uh, the female lead, Eun Joon Hong. Um, the husband, I've seen him in many things, many, many, many things. And that's it. All right. World Strong Reviewer. Ezekiel, if you end up coming back, if you end up liking the show, if I end up helping you, please come back to the video, like the video, um, subscribe to the channel, and share the video. I'm trying to grow the channel up. Peace. Peace. Boy, I'm tripping.